We're following kids into the outdoors and learning a thing or two in the process. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. Today on At Your Leisure, Reese Stein takes us to a nature center where education is all about getting outside. Then, join Chad and me as we find out how Utah State Parks are making OHV riding a priority in many of our most popular destinations. Finally, come with me, Stephen Human, as I take you on Red, White, and Road and show why you'll want to join us for this motorcycle event. Own the outdoors with At Your Leisure. Woo, you want me to go faster? I better not, I might scare you. Hello everybody, we are out ATV in this beautiful area which isn't unique at all. We are on the Max Reed Trail right across the street from the Fremont Indian State Park and we're here with our good friends and we're just having fun. That's true. Now I would like to point out that what we were talking about this not being unique in Utah we are at Fremont Indian State Park. It is one of 18 parks where you can ride right from the state park out onto a trail system, which is why Utah has become known as the ATV capital of the world, because there are so many hundreds, literally thousands of miles connected to places like the state parks where you can take off and ride. In fact, let's find out a little bit more about it. <music> There's 43 state parks, and out of those 43, 18 of them offer off-highway vehicle access. And when I say access, that means you can camp in any one of those 18 particular state parks and then ride right from that facility. For example, today we're here at Fremont. It's one of those parks that offers OHV or ATV riding experiences right out of the park. So if you're looking for a family destination, this is one of those 18 areas that we would encourage those families to come and visit. Fremont Indian State Park uh, came about because of the construction of I-70. During that, they found Indian artifacts in this area, an Indian village consisting of over 60 pit houses. We allow ATVs in and out of our park in all different aspects. We have uh, the trailhead where we're currently standing is the Max Reed Trailhead. It's right off the Paiute ATV Trail, which is a great trail to take your family up and ride. We offer uh, ATV access to the museum and to the campgrounds. While you're here at Fremont Indian State Park, we'd highly encourage you to go in and visit the museum. There's tons of artifacts that you'll see, and there's a lot of rock art on the rock faces right here behind us. Um, if you take the opportunity to hike the trails, you'll be able to see the rock art that was left by the Native Americans. We'd like to invite everybody to come out and do that and bring their family along. We've got some great camping opportunities here at uh, Fremont Indian State Park, but the invitation would be to come and see that. It's a great opportunity. Spend the day or the weekend here. It's, it's more than just a day visit. You look at the access that we've been able to, to create and generate in working with our federal land managing agencies and also the counties to make those community to community connectors and also you can ride from high ponderosa pine areas to low-lying desert areas and so you're going to experience all sorts of different type of trail opportunities that exist coming out of those 18 state parks that are OHV user friendly. <laughs> Whoa, oh, wow. <laughs> Well, that was, a, that was a little Tucker moment there, a little Tucker moment. <laughs> you know, Rhea, I got to tell you something. This actually... Are you telling the entire world right now? Oh, that's all right. They can hear too. <laughs> you know, this is a, a kind of a special trail for me. And the reason it's special is that our very, very, very first episode of the Utah Trail, which is the precursor to At Your Leisure, uh -huh. we shot our travel adventure on this trail. I shot the story. And you know who is along with us? Who? Max Reed, the guy the trail is named after. So this was your very first travel adventure? Our very first travel adventure took place on this trail, and here we are again. Isn't that something? History repeats itself. You can say that again. <laughs> All right. Well, now we're going to go to today's travel adventure. And Steve Human is going to take us to one right in your own backyard. Well, thanks, guys. I'm Stephen Human. Now, for most of us, summer is over. Kids are back in school. We put the boats away. But for motorcyclists, this is the prime time of year. You got a month, maybe two, when the weather is perfect, the leaves are changing, and you can hit the road. 
And I want to invite you to do just that. Now, September 23rd and 24th out of Torrey, Utah is the seventh annual Red, White & Road motorcycle event. This is the premier ride on Highway 12 for the year. And I want to give all the details to you and invite you and your family to join us for the event. There are a lot of famous motorcycle trips in the U.S., like the Blue Ridge Parkway in Virginia or the Pacific Coast Highway in California. Each offers something unique and memorable that can't be found anywhere else. Among these legendary opportunities is Utah Highway 12, a route unlike anything else on Earth. Highway 12 is considered probably one of the top 10 motorcycle rides in the nation. Not just in Utah, it's in the nation. Uh, you get to go up over the Boulder Mountain, get to look down on the Henry Mountains, so you're looking down through the valley. It's a wonderful ride. It's got lots of twisties and turnies too. That's why it's considered one of the best bike rides in the nation. Highway 12 was added to the Utah road system in 1914. At that time, it only went from the Bryce Canyon Junction to Tropic Reservoir. Today, it is 122 miles long and takes travelers through eons of history. The road has been officially dubbed the Journey Through Time Scenic Byway, and rightfully so, as it descends into red canyons and widens along petrified sand dunes from ages past, when the West was a desert the size of the Sahara. That's called the Hogsbacks. You're actually looking down on Calf Creek Falls from that point, but it's a very narrow road. At points, it's probably only 20, 30 feet. I mean, the road's here and then straight off on each side. It is, it is breathtaking. For Russ Stedman of Stedman's Recreation, motorcycles are in his blood. As the third generation here at the shop, Russ has ridden his entire life and knows the thrill that comes with climbing on a metal steed and exploring the asphalt frontier. It's a life-changing and an attitude-changing scenario when you actually get on a road bike. Um, it's one of those things that you really can't explain to people. Part of the joy of motorcycles comes from the camaraderie with other riders. While they seem very solitary at times, bikes are all about the communion of the ride. Sitting, talking afterwards, sharing thoughts. Places like Highway 12 are amazing, and riders are inspired by the vistas and colors, but what is almost more special than the experience itself is the chance to talk about it with your fellow travelers, gaining their perspective and adding it to your own. Since that communion is so important, Stedman's has put on an annual fall ride for the last seven years to give bikers one final chance to enjoy their sport with a group of like-minded explorers before winter sets in and takes away their fun. We wanted to do something to give back to our community, you know, uh, and it just so happened that the first initial ride was on September 11th. So we've kind of taken that theme. It's been fun. It first started out as a day ride, and then last year we decided to do this overnight ride. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but I asked most of the people down there, do you want to just do one day or two days? And most of them really like the venue, right. so we're doing another overnighter. Red, White and Road will set out of Torrey, Utah at the junction of Highway 12 and 24 the morning of September 24th. The ride will hit all the history and beauty offered on the route. Everyone is welcome to register at AYLTV.com and join us for this amazing ride. The fall colors will be changing and the contrast will be at their zenith. This is an event you do not want to miss. When we hit the road for a vacation, we think about what we'll experience when we arrive at our final destination. And that's normal, of course. But when the trip itself is the destination, that's when you'll find an understanding of the road and the environments it traverses that goes beyond just a blur at your periphery. The world fully takes shape, and you see things you never knew you were missing, such as life on a motorcycle. I actually just had that experience last week and before I left I was I was thinking about stresses of life and business and all this and I was ornery <laughs> to be honest with you and 10 minutes in the ride I was giggling I was laughing I was I was you know I was my son was on back with me and it was uh, it's it's just a, a change of attitude that happens instantly well hopefully that gave you all the details you needed to want to join us for Red, White & Road on September 23rd and 24th. It's the seventh annual Highway 12 ride. Now, it costs $50. You can register right now at AYLTV.com, and that includes a t-shirt for the event, a lunch, a gourmet Dutch oven dinner, which you're definitely going to love, and the ride itself. So it's worth your while, worth your time to come and join us the 23rd and 24th. Well, I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll have our product review.
Family time, friend time, your time. You've been thinking about getting a machine, but which one is right for you? An ATV, side by side, or dirt bike? Stedman's Recreation has Utah's largest selection of Honda, Polaris, Yamaha, and Beta machines. See them all at Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. Need a tune-up, new tires, or want a winch? Stedman's service department can help. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high And the stars come out at night In the basin with the Ute Reservation, skin starvation, that Duchesne County life. Join at your leisure the West's number one outdoor adventure show and Stedman's Recreation for the 7th annual Red, White, and Road Motorcycle event on Highway 12. September 23rd and 24th, twist the throttle for one of the most amazing rides anywhere in the country. Register at AYLTV.com for $50 and get lunch, a gourmet Dutch oven dinner, event t-shirt, a chance to win huge prizes, and a ride with the best group of people on motorcycles. The 7th annual Red, White, and Road, September 23rd and 24th in Torrey, Utah. Sign up now at AYLTV.com. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Darren Kinder, and our product review today is the new Turbo 1000 by Polaris. And this machine has 144 horsepower, so it's got a ton of power to get out there and play in the sand and have a great time. But it's also something that you can use up in the mountains and everywhere else. Let's take a good close look at it. This Razor is absolutely a blast to drive. A lot of times you have to actually put it in four wheel drive because the back tires are spinning so fast that it needs the front ones hooked in just to keep it moving. And it's really easy to drive. You'd expect some turbo lag, things like that. That's not there at all. The machine just has constant power all the time. With the power steering, the thing is just whipping around with absolutely no struggle at all to drive it. It's a great time out here in the dunes. Now up here in the front end, we have the standard uh, double-A arm front suspension, but one of the things they've done on the turbo is they've actually used bigger output shafts on the CV joints and everywhere else, so that way it can handle all that horsepower that they're putting to it. Now, up here in the front, it actually has two radiators and a cooling tank, and the second radiator's for the turbo, of course, and they've also put in a pump system to circulate all the fluid from up here in the front all the way back to the motor. Now the rest of the Razor is pretty much the same as the other 1000. You've got your standard four doors on the machine, nice seats, tilt wheel, nice gauge, glove box, and your OSB bar. But here in the back, they've changed a few things. They've actually increased the amount of airflow and everything into the clutch system. They've used an upgraded clutch and also a high performance belt on this, all again to take up that 144 horsepower. So they've tried to make this thing as tough and durable as could be, so it can be used in any situation, whether you're racing in the desert or rock climbing out at Moab. Now, everybody thinks that they just took the 1000 motor and put the turbo on it, and that's not really the case. They, they came out with a completely different motor for this machine. It's a 925cc motor that they put the turbo on, so that's actually a little bit smaller, but the reason is, is so that they could build up the cranks and to build up the cooling system on it, so it could really take that turbo and not get any turbo lag. That's the beauty of it. Because you can take this out and you wouldn't even know it's a turbo unless you looked under here and saw where it is. Now if you'd like to check out one of these new 1000 turbos, get out to Stedman's in Tooele and they've got all the different razors there to choose from, from the 570s all the way up to this bad boy and everything in between. So whether you're looking for a four seater or a two seater, man, Polaris has all kinds of models. Plus they have some new ones coming out. I'm Darren Kinder, we'll see you next time. They're here, 
the latest game changers from Polaris. Ranger XP-1000, the most powerful Ranger ever. General 4, the off-road's most popular new crossover. And Ride Command, groundbreaking technology to connect you, your machine, and your friends like never before. See the best of 2017. Or grab a great deal on remaining 2016s. Get rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris factory authorized clearance. When the road takes you farther than you knew possible, when the world is more beautiful than you've ever seen, when home is more comfortable than it should be, this is when you know you're in Kane County. The perfect mix of rural and urban, culture and adventure. Glendale, Orderville, Kanab, Big Water, small towns with more to offer than just peace and quiet. Kane County, Utah. Find the new you. In 1946, Ray City started a business built on exploration and family. He made his customers a promise that they would always find a friend when they walked into a dealership with the name Ray City. Now, 70 years later, that promise is fulfilled every day. We're still all about exploration and family. 70 years is a long time, but we are just getting started. Come in and celebrate our huge anniversary sale. Ray City RV off Riverdale Road in Roy, serving your family since 1946. In a place that is beyond words, there is nothing to be said, except take your time in Bryce Canyon country. You know, I always heard the saying, they say it's lonely up on top, but there are all kinds of people here. <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are riding the Max Reed Trail, and we've turned off at the saddle and come all the way up to a mountain peak here on the Paiute ATV trail system. I can look this way, and the valley's down towards Marysville. I look over here, I see the peaks that are right along over by Fillmore, Utah. I look this way, I can see the peaks that sit up behind Salina, and just over this way, I can see Richfield and Salina in the valley. And there are all these trails that connect them all in between. This is the best ATV trail I think I've ever been on. And, and this is just the tip of the iceberg about what this trail system and the whole Richfield area is about. Let's kind of go to look exploring. Central Utah has quickly becoming known as Utah's trail country. Uh, between the uh, Paiute, Gooseberry, uh, the Great Western Trail Systems, there's almost 2,000 miles of road and trail that can be accessed with ATVs, UTVs, motorcycles. We really enjoy not only the, the uh, proximity of the uh, trail system, being able to uh, just go right outside our front door, jump on an ATV and, and head out on the trail, but uh, we also enjoy the fact that the majority of the trails here in central Utah are intermediate in nature. Uh, they're very family friendly. You can go out with your family and not only enjoy a day of riding, but there's wildlife to see. You can stop at some of the lakes and go fishing. Just lots to see and do as you're out here. Uh, there's uh, old uh, mining history, ghost towns, those types of things. Uh, so it uh, really is an opportunity to, to do more than just ride. So we're standing in front of the Silver King Mine, and this is the old mine entrance. This is where all the little miners had to come down here, and they stayed down here all day. For safety reasons, they have now closed it in, but it basically looks like it went right around here, and the ore cars went right down into the mountain. And you know what? We're not the only outdoor adventure show that's up here. Adam Eagle's up here, and I think Chad's just about ready to photobomb him. Great terrain person. Hey, will, it, will you get out of my shot? <laughs> Chad Booth is oh. lost up here. We are at the Kimberly Lodge, and this used to be at one point a three story lodge. Well, it was an awful lot of fun riding, and you can see you get up here to this beautiful prize on top of the mountain. Yeah, that's true. We can see if we're on this peak. If we're on that peak, we couldn't see because we'd be in the fog. 
It reminds me of the scene from Paint Your Wagon where the clouds are rolling across the hilltops and, and, and uh, the, the, the bar owner singing Mariah. Yes, and you sing that song really well. But I'm not going to here. You do it in the shower all the time. I, and these folks aren't standing in the shower with me, so it's not going to happen. <laughs> and thankfully. Let's go to, <laughs> to Reese Stein. <laughs> all right, well, we're off to our trailhead adventure. Reese always makes his way out of the fog and makes adventure crystal clear. And he's done it again this week with an exciting adventure from the trailhead. And we have to thank Rocky Mountain ATV MC for this great story. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure in a treehouse at the Ogden Nature Center, where every year thousands of kids learn about the outdoors. Armed with butterfly nets, two dozen eight to 10 year olds are hunting wildlife in the fields of the Ogden Nature Center on West 12th Street. Wildlife at its basic. What do you got? Um, we, Red beetle. Yeah, I'm not sure what Guys, they're called yet. I have a butterfly. But it's a praying mantis and we saw him flying around and so um, it's easy. I trapped him down in the net. Ten-year-old Caroline is one of the campers at the Ogden Center's popular Monsters and Myths Camp, a week-long program delving into some of the mysteries of the outdoors, and the lessons apparently stick. They're called praying mantises because of their um, pictures, how they're, they just hold them up like that, and it looks like they're praying. I got red horn beetles and two shiny beetles. I got two beetles, shiny, weird beetles. I got a dragonfly. What is that? What is it? It's a dragonfly. We serve annually over 12,000 students. No kidding. Yeah, about roughly 100 in the morning and 100 in the afternoon. The school buses roll in and our fields are full of children. Public relations specialist Brandy Bosworth is our guide. Really the core of our mission is to educate children and really people of all ages, but mostly children about the natural world and the full ecology of the Wasatch Front. Wow, and it, this is kind of a unique place in Utah, isn't it? It's very unique. Actually, the Ogden Nature Center was one of the first nature centers in the Western United States. And so we're often used as an example for other nature centers that are being built. Uh, nature centers across the nation look up to us for advice. Wildlife specialist Bryce okay. King reigns okay. over the best teachers at the center. It's a collection of raptors. We use them for education programs. We're able to take them out and, and educate children, people, about our raptors and about birds that are protected here in Utah and, and what they hunt, what they do in their life and their family lives and bring people close to nature that way. This is Samson, red-tailed hawk. This is Amos. He's an American kestrel. He's a male. You can tell the difference with the male because the males have the slight gray or blue wing shoulders. And like the red tail, the kestrel is a common sight throughout Utah. You see them all the time hovering like helicopters uh, along highways and stuff. They're looking for mice or grasshoppers. The Ogden Nature Center on 152 mostly undeveloped acres includes hiking trails through native habitats, which are home to foxes, pheasants, deer, skunks, and other critters. Several man-made ponds attract a wide variety of birds, especially during migration seasons, although this heron is a permanent resident. It's a statue. The center conducts all kinds of ecological programs for children and adults year-round. Each midweek is Wild Wednesday, a variety of one-hour nature activities open to the public for a small admission fee. An annual family membership is $45. A lot of what we do is just about getting outside and enjoying nature, and then when you enjoy nature, you learn to take care of nature. He's on the camera! He's like, hi, people. <laughs> here, I got him. Cute little praying man. They're all over out here. Restein at your leisure at the Ogden Nature Center. Razor. Ranger, Sportsman, Ace, there's a Polaris to match your passion. Whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, Razor leads the way. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Perfectly combined to chase what matters. Lifelong memories with friends and family.
Join at your leisure the West's number one outdoor adventure show and Stedman's Recreation for the 7th annual Red, White, and Road Motorcycle event on Highway 12. September 23rd and 24th, twist the throttle for one of the most amazing rides anywhere in the country. Register at AYLTV.com for $50 and get lunch, a gourmet Dutch oven dinner, event t-shirt, a chance to win huge prizes, and a ride with the best group of people on motorcycles. The 7th annual Red, White, and Road, September 23rd and 24th in Torrey, Utah. Sign up now at AYLTV.com. Don't let your next family outing end in tragedy. Don't drink and ride. Driving an OHV under the influence of alcohol is no different than driving your car under the influence of alcohol. Law enforcement officers will be out checking riders and operators of OHVs. You could end up seeing jail time, loss of driver's license, the same stiff penalties that apply to operating a car. This message is from the Utah Division of Parks and Recreation. Ride responsibly. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. This has been an amazing day on our ATVs. We're up here fortifying ourselves with snacks and Oreos, and <laughs> it all tastes so much better at this beautiful top of the... Just, just for, for the record, Karen, Kevin Arrington did bring carrots, so there is at least a little healthy food <laughs> in here, but the rest of it's just all comfort, 100%. Yep, just like our calendar events that we're going to talk about. It's all that, going to be good. That's right. Actually, food is the subject because it's Melon Days. It's coming right up in Green River. What a great place to take your family and just have fun because they serve free melon all day long. Now, the secret is if they give away free melon all you can eat, you'll be so addicted to it, you want to buy some and take it home because it's vine ripened stuff. They got craft food, craft fairs. Go down and camp the weekend at Utah State Park, at the Green River State Park, right along the shores of the river, and have a blast. And bring your golf clubs. Bring your golf clubs and get in the parade. Oh. We did, it was so much fun. And we you did. know, the whole family just has a kick out there. That's true, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Well, there's a lot of fun ahead for us too right now because we're gonna give you a peek at all the adventure we're going to find next week on At Your Leisure. Check this out. In one week, join me, Stephen Human, along with Darren Kinder as we prove our worth in the outdoors with the Bear Grylls Survival Academy. Will we buckle under the pressure or rise to the occasion? Or will we just eat bugs and call it good? You'll have to wait until next week to find out. Then Reese Stein will also be trying new things as he visits Laos and sees how adventure is different on the other side of the world. Well, everybody, it's been a great show and we've had so much fun today. And I'd really like to thank State Parks, who was with us today, and Kevin Arrington from the wonderful County of Sevier, tourism director and economic developer over there, right? Correct. Yep, and these guys over here. <laughs> from the other <laughs> show. From that other show. <laughs> it was <laughs> a lot of fun though. It, it was, was. So we've had awesome. a great time today. Time. So remember that you need to get outdoors and create your own adventures at your leisure. We'll see you next time. And Steve's gonna, oh my God, I can't do it. I, 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 I know, I, I am like, I don't know what is going on. Do just that because we have an event, event, event. Oh. I was gonna cut you off anyway. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week. So you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here. And that way, they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com. And from there, you can find out which television stations we broadcast on. So you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget, we have really cool contests.